all, Olivia here. In today's video we will describe the map Lima. If it gets 90 likes under this material, we will provide you with another new map. People who are new on the channel shouldn't forget to make the red button grey under the video. No more time to waste, let's get to show on the road. The map cut Lima is a large city with a walled villa in the center. If you start as a terrorist, the spawn is a living room of that villa, from which you can exit the main entrance or site, or go to the room next to the door and corridor. From the living room, you can enter the other two floors of the villa. On the first floor of the villa, you will find meeting rooms and dining rooms, for which you can go to the kitchen. On this floor is also a balcony with chairs, tables and umbrellas. Then you can go through the footbridge to the building next to it, which on the fire floor is the laundry room and on the floor below is the warehouse. On the second floor there are bedrooms. In addition, the toilet is at the end of the corridor. There are also office room and the so-called chairman's office. The whole house is the headquarters of terrorists where hostage are held. One is in the chairman's office, the other in the conference room, and the third is in the kitchen. The building is fenced and has its own garden. At the back of the house you will find a roof where vines grow on and there is a lot of grass around. There is a fountain in front of the house in front of the entrance and on the left side of the fountain there is a gate leading to the city. Playing as counter terrorists, we spawn in front of the main gate from the villa. On this side, there is a city where you can move between the buildings. Counter terrorists are trying to recover hostage and at the same time cure points A and B. Point B is on the other side of the street opposite the villa. And point A is hidden in the basement, somewhere between buildings on the left side of the city. The city looks old, abandoned and the windows are boarded up and every building except the villa cannot be entered. In my opinion the map outside the villa is ugly, old and damaged. I enjoy playing as terrorist side of the villa. The interior light is adequate and there are many good hiding places here. It's all for this video. How do you feel about this map? Let's talk about it in the comments. See you tomorrow, goodbye and have a nice day!